Snakes on a plane is make-believe. That's Hollywood. <laughs> no, 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 no. Snake on the ferry is real. This is New Orleans. That was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I ride the ferry five times a week at least and never seen anything like that. Aesthetician Elizabeth Carr was on her way home on the last ferry to Algiers Point last night. Suddenly, the ferry stopped and so did her heart. Um, the captain stopped the ferry close to Algiers side, got on the intercom and said stay away from the rope. Um, and then no one really knew what to do. The deckhands got a little bit nervous <laughs> and they brought it to the attention of the captain on duty. Elizabeth took out her phone and captured this video. No one on the Thomas Jefferson vessel claimed the reptile, which appears to be an exotic pet, a boa constrictor or a python maybe. And as the snake crawled along the railing and it got to the, to the part of the vessel where the deckhand normally would stand to tie the boat up and throw the mooring line, they were able to just push it off the boat with a mop. Trapper John, the hogman, captures wild animals for people and could only take an educated guess of how it got there. Well, I think that the snake got on the ferry by, by means of a car or a truck. I think he was climbed underneath the truck or underneath the hood, rode with the car. When the car stopped on the ferry, got off. And I hope that snake's okay. <laughs> so if you're wondering why the snake wanted to cross the river, well, just like the rest of us, to get to the other side. No, no. Okay, so Tan, ophidiophobia is an extreme fear of snakes. But now I'll tell you, the Thomas Jefferson Ferry is out of commission tonight, but it has nothing to do with that big snake that was on there. It has everything to do with the fact that it's in for regular maintenance and safety service. Reporting live from the Riverfront's Meg Farris, Eyewitness News.